All right, hello, YouTubers. So, uh, kind of unexpectedly got a new tool uh, to play with. A uh, guy at work um, decided he did not want his little bandsaw anymore. So, he asked if I wanted it. And I said, well, sure, if the price is right. And he said, you can just have it. So, um, turns out it's a little 9-inch Delta. It's probably the smallest bandsaw um, made. I think uh, a host of different companies make nine inch band saws. Um, they're really designed for light duty uh, scrolling. They're obviously not resawing. Um, but, you know, for free, um, sure, I'll take it. So I uh, got this saw, and uh, it's an older model, but it runs good and uh, no problems with it. Cleaned it up a little bit. Um, he threw in a bunch of blades, um, have one there, and three or four blades here. Um, I think there's some little eighth inch blades and a couple of quarter inch blades. And um, all that I need to do is put a blade on it. Um, there's not a blade on it at all. And I took a look at it, and it looks like all of the adjustments uh, for the stops and the, and the rollers, those are all out of adjustment. So I took a look at the uh, manual just to try to kind of understand how to align all of that stuff, and I'm going to put it together and give it a shot. So uh, I'll probably film that um, best I can. But uh, it looks like a pretty good saw. Um, not much else to say about it other than to go put it together and uh, give it a try. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm back. So uh, I took a look at the directions again just real quick. And uh, I actually did a test fit just so I'm not fumbling around too much on the video here. So. Um, what I've got here is I've got a quarter inch blade. So this saw will accept eighth inch blades, quarter inch blades, and three eighths inch blades. So this one's a quarter inch. And uh, I did a test fit. And turns out I think this thing is already dialed in. So, um, But I'll put the blade on and then I'll try to focus in on the adjustments and show where the adjustments are. But uh, best I can tell, um, it's dead on. So, um, okay, so uh, uh, important things to note are that the blade teeth needs to face down and they need to face this direction where the slot is. So um, this is a little bit tricky. I got slightly frustrated with it, but it's really not that bad um, once we figure it out. So the trick I found is to get it around the bottom uh, wheel first, and and then work on the top wheel. And the first thing it tells you is to make sure this latch is open, which gives this wheel more. Uh, tilting ability so um, it's got a rubber belt around each wheel and that helps keep the blade on the, on the wheel so once you get it on the bottom wheel I found that just getting this side on the top and then kind of holding down here a little bit Uh, was the way to get this thing started. And then of course, as you can see there, it popped off. So that's the frustrating part of it. Somehow I was able to work it on. There it goes. 
So once I got it on, I made sure it was clear of all this mechanism here. And mostly centered on the wheels. So it's running pretty clean there. And then what it tells you for a quarter inch blade to screw this down until you get slight tension. So that's slight tension right there and then go two turns. So that's one. And I guess that's two. All right. So uh, what's going to be hard to see is is right inside here and you can barely see that but there is a uh, there's a roller and the blade actually if you imagine the roller is right here the blade sits in front of that roller and the idea is when the blade pushes back it's going to roll that that roller a little bit and it's supposed to sit less than a 30 seconds of an inch, I believe it said, off of that roller. And lo and behold, that's pretty much where it's at. It's, it's slightly rubbing it, but not really. So I think it's in the right spot. And then this, uh, there's actually two pins that come in right here. And it needs to be centered on those two pins and it's running right down the middle of those two pins. And then under here, you can't see it, but there's another roller, and it's oriented this way. And the blade is supposed to sit a 32nd or less off of that roller as well. And it is. It's dead in line. I can feel it with my finger. With that roller. And then the same thing down here. There's two pins. And it's supposed to sit between those two. So that's where we're at. And it's got an adjustment here for the, the guard. So goes up and down, still sits between the two pins. It's sitting right above the roller. Okay, so I think the only thing left to do is to try this thing out. So I will Yeah, it's slightly touching that that roller which probably needs a little bit of an adjustment. But I'll do that after I run it. It's not going to hurt it. So uh, let's plug this thing in and see what we got. All right, so. Let's close the thing so um, we don't have an accident here. But uh, here we go, contact. So it's definitely running okay. Give it a little shot. Seems to cut all right. A little curve there. 
I think it's definitely it's definitely touching this uh, this bearing here so let's uh, let's see if there's a way to adjust that I think there is why is this stuff always metric that's what I don't understand as old as this saw is. And it's metric. So I'm not 100% sure how to adjust this. I didn't read too carefully in the manual. All right, I'm 0 for 2, picking the right size, 0 for 3, 0 for 4, and it is not metric, hang on. Okay, there it is. I apologize, you can't see anything I'm doing here. Okay, so what I'm adjusting here is this screw. I think this one is supposed to adjust this bearing. Oh yeah, okay, I see. So it goes in and out. All right. Let's, let's try that. All right, it is not hitting that bearing. It must be riding this bearing down here. Okay, so I think you get the gist of it. Um, I think it's contacting either one of these pins or one of these bearings down here. Uh, easy adjustments on the right hand side here with these, uh, uh, it's basically some pins and you loosen up the set screw, slide the pins, tighten the set screws back down and then the bearings themselves, same distance, they move this way. So this one moves like this, the one at the bottom moves like this. So uh, we'll adjust those up, we'll get it just right, and we got us a free bandsaw. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, 
and uh, um, I'm sure I could put this thing to use. Uh, not quite sure how yet, but I have a few projects in mind that might need a little light bandsaw work, and uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll put it to use. So once again, uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot more videos on the way, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you.